tell me uh, what is data driven testing what is data driven testing yeah um, is, is it a tested is it tested type or uh, test level or something uh, say that again sir it test type or test level or test technique or something is a test technique sir no what okay. is data driven testing uh, can you tell me uh, srinivas we have uh, more experience in this area na uh, software testing tell me what is data driven testing is it a test uh -huh. level or test type or test technique or something so uh, i mean running the same test with uh, repeated i'm not asking the functionality of that one what is it is it table or chair or something i am not asking table functionality chair functionality just identify the thing nayak just identify the thing what is it okay test type sir no functional testing is test type uh, data uh, data based testing is uh, test type next performance testing is test type security testing is test type compatibility testing is test type but data driven testing is not test type not test level unit testing is test level integration testing is test level system testing is test level acceptance testing is test level what is data driven testing it is testing variant testing variant see see testing variant sandhya testing variant yes sir uh in functional testing it is an arrangement just arrangement uh, in functional testing uh shrinivas batch testing is a variant isn't it is not separate test type batch testing next to data driven testing these are testing variants data driven testing uh next what is this uh, data driven testing uh, tell me himo you are going to tell na what is data driven testing uh, it, it uses the um data from the like you know um, source file okay okay it uses uh, it, data uh, repeat yeah uh, we can use it like repeatedly repeatedly okay your description is uh confusing not confusing uh, less clarity or no clarity you continue sinwar tell me in your own words what is data driven testing okay. <coughs> sir uh, same test case can same be, test uh, case uh, uh can execute multiple times with uh, uh multiple test data multiple test data good good see uh sim in simple words executing a test case executing a test case executing a test case uh using using multiple test data is called abdur azhar sharif is called data driven testing okay uh, you can get the test data from an external file uh, either text file or excel file or database file okay na srinivas you may get the test data from an external file okay yeah yes sir external file but in uft nayak we have internal file also uh, in uft uh, spreadsheet yes, is there na spreadsheet yes sir a uh, built in spreadsheet is there na excel like not excel excel like spreadsheet is there na using that yes, one sir. you can uh, conduct data related operations na but here in selenium no built in feature no built in feature okay exec other sandhya executing a test case using multiple test data is called data driven testing okay 
a test data can be read from an external file okay uh, this is uh, okay what is data driven testing is uh, okay next ajar ajar how much experience you have sir five years experience sir. working in manual okay okay no problem why data driven testing why uh, data test why data driven testing what is data driven testing okay uh, ajar why data driven testing suppose for one input for one input my functionality is responding fine my functionality is working fine then why i need to test the same functionality with multiple test data why data driven testing to identify that one uh, hemo why data driven testing what what data driven testing what is data we can use testing? yeah we can use sets of data we you can, can save use time. you can use yeah. sets of data you can why you are you why you why you need to use sets of data that is my question you use um, why you use why what save is the requirement time. save time sir save time first of all i don't want data driven testing suppose uh, what i told uh, for one input my application my perform my functionality is responding fine my my functionality is working fine then why i need to focus on uh, executing multiple test data what is the requirement okay okay to conduct positive and negative testing getting yes sir ah uh, to can the saving time is different that is okay. not valid here right. it to conduct positive positive and negative negative testing observe srinivas uh, the completeness of software testing is positive testing and negative testing suppose uh, for valid input my application is my functionality is working fine my application is responding fine what about handling invalid input it has to accept valid input at the same time prevent invalid input so uh, positive and negative both both uh, paths are important already i told the completeness of software testing is positive and negative testing suppose for valid input my application is responding fine what about handling invalid input sandhya for that uh, we may conduct data driven testing uh, oh, okay sir valid and with valid and invalid input we conduct suppose you uh, uh, are not for all all functionality strain was only for uh, important functionalities basic functionalities like login uh, for example login with valid username and password that is positive test positive test positive test data next positive testing next login with invalid username valid password one combination negative testing next login with valid username invalid password next third set login with invalid username invalid password next login with Valid username in uh, blank password. See, uh, any time uh, seen was uh, which one is bigger? Positive testing or negative testing? Negative testing. Negative testing is bigger. Why? For positive testing, only one valid, val valid set, of, valid, uh, valid input, valid test data. But for negative testing, you may have multiple sets, multiple sets. Yes, sir. And one more thing. for some scenarios no negative testing no negative testing observe observe the limitations uh, for example our project sample project uh, here login functionality is there observe ajar login functionality is there for this login functionality you can conduct uh, positive testing as well as negative testing uh, positive testing with valid input negative testing with invalid input next here 
page redirection functionality is there ajar if you click on this online catalog link it will redirect to it uh, it will redirect to user interface user interface this is uh, this is our functionality uh, here uh, any test data is there any test data is there in this one no no sir test data so no negative testing na if you have if you have test data or input fields in your test case sandhya then uh, you can uh, you can conduct positive and negative testing suppose if you if you don't have uh, input fields in your test uh, test case then uh, no negative testing na uh, yes sir yes sir uh, any, uh, anyhow negative testing is bigger than positive testing uh, we have for every requirement only one uh, positive scenario uh, for uh for every scenario only one positive test case but multiple maybe multiple uh, test cases next observe him uh, what why what why next observe this concept parameterization parameterization you know this term parameterization Uh, reusing the versus, uh, functions. No, not reusing. Invalid. Oh, okay. Parameterization versus data driven testing. Data driven testing. Now, parameterization versus data driven testing are they same or different or related? Do you hear? Parameterization. Yes, sir. Uh, are they same? Parameterization, data driven testing, are they same, are different, are related? Related. Both are not exact same. Both are not different. Related. How? See, parameterization is superior in this scenario. Parameterization. Uh, you can find this uh, this concept or feature. Uh, Saint was. You can find parameterization concept in every programming language. In database technology, also you have parameterization. It is global global uh, feature. Data driven testing is local concept. Local to automated testing. What is the similarity? Parameterization means passing values. Passing. passing values uh instead of constant values constant value means fixed values passing one or more dynamic values or one or more values passing or you can say replacing constant values with parameters variable is parameter In functions argument is parameter. <laughs> See replacing, replacing constant values. Constant value means fixed value. Suppose user name is there. Srinivas at gmail dot com. That is constant value, fixed value. Instead of replacing constant values with parameters, is called parameterization. Data driven testing. executing a test case using uh, multiple tested data uh, both are uh, data driven but difference is there para uh, data driven testing means passing multiple values only passing multiple values but parameterization means not only passing multiple values even passing single value also parameterization what is the relation between parameterization and data driven testing we use parameterization concept in data driven testing data driven testing means passing multiple values passing single value meaningless parameterization means passing multiple values or passing single value that is also uh, parameterization 
getting this point seen was where we pass single value suppose in methods arguments are there uh, you can pass single value na while calling the method sir suppose for data driven testing we pass multiple values for uh, calling a method with the parameters or arguments uh, you, you you pass single values only getting yeah yes sir. Uh, uh, which one is superior parameterization or data driven testing data driven hmm, already i told data driven testing is local concept automated testing local concept but hmm. parameterization concept you can uh, you, uh, you can find this term in uh, java python the see, every programming language and database technology etc parameterization is a global concept already i told na parameterization means passing a single value or passing multiple values both data driven testing means passing multiple values only passing a single value meaningless isn't it okay sir uh, what is the relation between these two we use parameterization concept in data driven testing data driven testing that's it next all of you put mute yes sir nayak observe nayak how to conduct how to conduct data driven testing it is simple how to conduct data driven testing uh, how to conduct data driven testing nayak using okay, uh, using a tested data file okay yes sir okay. by reading by reading test data from a file from a file here file means computer pointer in i think in java chapter sanjay we already discussed this one file means computer pointer in everything is file computer understands things in terms of files only computer point of view drive is file folder is file file is file database also file database file correct ta but end user point of view this segregation drive c drive d drive folder uh, file uh, in files also uh, text file excel file next database file etc uh, files here you can use uh, text file or uh, excel file or database file here the excel file is famous database file okay by reading test data from a uh, file uh, we can conduct data driven testing uh, nayak 